okay hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about electric field intensity at any point due to charged infinitely long uniform solid cylinder in our last class we have been discussed in detail about electric field intensity at any point due to charged solid sphere this is the expression of electric field intensity if the point will be outside this is the expression for on the surface of the sphere this is the expression inside the sphere in this class we are going to discuss in detail about a infinitely long uniform solid cylinder charged uniform solid cylinder okay for that we have to consider a solid cylinder having the radius r this one this is the solid cylinder radius is your r okay now we are going to give the charge to this solid cylinder is your q the total charge Q, this total charge Q will be distributed uniformly on the whole volume of the solid cylinder like this. Okay. That means this Q charge distributed uniformly on the whole volume of this solid cylinder. Now let us consider the volume charge density of the solid cylinder is your rho R and this r is the function of rho do not be confused that this is the multiplication with rho this is the rho is the function of r distance okay and this rho is called as your volume charge density that means charge per unit volume now we are going to consider our first case if the point will be situated outside of this solid cylinder named as PO, O for outside, at a distance RO from the central axis of this solid cylinder. So, to evaluate the electric field intensity at point P, we are going to consider a Gaussian 3D Gaussian surface having the radius is your RO and your length or height is your L. This is the uh, Gaussian surface just passed through the observation point. Now, by Gauss law, total electric flux passed through this Gaussian surface that is your surface integration of EO dot ES will be equal to charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface by epsilon 0, right? So, here you can see, here you can see that as this cylinder is charged with positively charged so in electric lines of forces will be coming out from the solid cylinder like this okay okay now by gauss law gauss law the electric flux passed through the 3d surface area or passed through this gaussian surface this is your gaussian surface passed through the Gaussian surface that is your EO dot ds equal to charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface divided by epsilon 0. See remember it this is charge enclosed by always the Gaussian surface right. Now here first we have to find out the charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface will be how much. Here you can see that consider this is your Gaussian surface okay. Gaussian surface means the charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface is nothing but this one. Charge enclosed by this much volume of this solid cylinder. Okay. Okay. So, if we the volume of this much portion of the solid cylinder into volume charge density will be give the charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface. Now, volume of this much portion of the solid cylinder will be how much? Radius of the solid cylinder is your, is your how much? R. So, surface area is your pi r square and this length or this thick height is your L. So, pi r square L is the volume of this much portion of the solid cylinder. So, per unit volume charge content by this solid cylinder is your rho. 
so in this much volume how much charge will be content that is rho into pi r square l now here carefully you have to watch that this much charge is enclosed by this much portion of the solid cylinder okay okay this much portion of the solid cylinder exactly this much charge charge enclosed by this gaussian surface got it so gauss this gaussian surface encloses the charge how much rho into pi r square l you have to substitute over there here now eo dot es eo dot es means dot product of ds that means element any element on the surface of the gaussian surface suppose this is a ds element okay ds element so the direction of ds will be along this direction and this electric field intensity along along the same direction both are the same direction so e dot ds will be eo eo dot ds will be eo ds cos 0 degree that means eo ds eo is the constant taken outside integration will be equal to this much charge by epsilon 0 same thing it has been written here you can see this dot product will be equal to eo surface integration of this ds equal to this much charge which is enclosed by this gaussian surface by this gaussian surface divided by epsilon 0 right now this surface area will be how much here you can see this surface this surface area is nothing but surface area of this gaussian surface so for this gaussian surface a radius is your how much r o so total surface area of this gaussian surface will be how much it will be 2 pi r circumference of this gaussian surface into this thickness or height that is your 2 pi r o into l is represents the total surface area of this gaussian surface so eo into this surface integration is not more total surface area of this gaussian surface that is your 2 pi r o into l equal to this much so that implies we found eo that means electric field intensity at any point outside of this cylindrical cylinder charged infinite long uniform solid cylinder will be how much this will be uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 pi capital r square rho by r o here you can see l l got cancelled okay so this will be how much e o carefully you have to watch e o equal to this 2 pi uh, pi pi got cancelled out pi pi got cancelled okay uh, here i not cancelled the pi mm, wait here i not cancelled the pi here you can see so this e o will be how much 1 by 1 by 2 pi 2 pi epsilon 0 r 0 r o r o uh, into rho into pi r square pi capital r square so here what i done uh, to write in this format 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 format i multiplied 2 over uh, 2 with numerator and denominator so what we can found this will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 right here I, if i will multiply 2 over here this will be 2 pi r square into rho by r0 okay i just multiplied 2 with numerator and the denominator to write in this format 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 format okay okay now we are going to go for if the point huh, yes from this expression uh, it can be found that the point which will be outside of this uh, solid cylinder 
will be inversely proportional electric field intensity will be varies inversely proportional with distance so as ro will be increased this eo will be decrease gradually now we are going to go for the case 2 when the point p will be on the surface of the solid sphere okay so if it will be on the surface then the distance from the axis of the cylinder to this point will be capital r okay now we are going to consider a solid a sorry gaussian surface which just encloses the observation point ps s for surface p is the observation point ps means on the surface so to evaluate the electric field intensity at ps consider a gaussian surface which just encloses the ps point and having the radius is r and length is your l this length or is your uh, height is your l of this gaussian surface now according to gauss law electric flux passed through the 3d spherical surface or passed through the gaussian surface 3d gaussian surface is your es dot ds equal to q enclosed by epsilon 0 q enclosed that means charge enclosed by gaussian surface many times i told bar bar mein yahi bol yahi ye baat bol raha hu ke ye jo charge enclosed hai that is enclosed by gaussian surface okay from the figure you can see that this much so gaussian surface how much charge is going to enclose here you can see gaussian surface means this much so it is encloses this much portion charge so this much portion charge is nothing but how much already we have been discussed in our previous case that is your rho into pi r square into l because <coughs> because in your unit volume charge is rho the charge contained by the cylinder for this volume for this volume which is enclosed by the gaussian surface so this much portion of the solid sphere is enclosed by this gaussian surface so by this much portion of the solid sphere how much charge is going to be content this much portion the volume of this much portion of this solid uh, cylinder into your charge density so volume of this much portion of the solid cylinder is nothing but pi capital r square into this length so hence charge enclosed by this gaussian surface will be how much rho into pi capital r square into l so here you can see dot product of es and ds ds means any surface suppose here i am going to consider a small surface ds on the gaussian surface the ds direction will be along this direction which is exactly along with es electric field intensity direction that means theta angle between them will be zero degree so dot product if you are going to consider cos cos 0 will be 1 and this will be nothing but es into surface integration of ds so here this surface integration of ds is represents the total surface area enclosed by this gaussian surface so here for this gaussian surface radius is r thickness or height is your l so surface area of this cylind uh, of this cylindrical gaussian surface is your how much 2 pi rl so es into this one this value is your total surface area of this gaussian surface how much 2 pi capital r into l equal to this much charge by epsilon 0 this one so rho into pi by into pi r capital r square l by epsilon 0 so here one thing i am going to tell to you that here i written rho here I written rho function of r not to be confused okay 
both are same here i written the function of r here the function of r i not written over here okay so not to be confused so here es into 2 pi rl equal to rho into pi capital r square l by epsilon 0 that is like es we found that 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 here also i multiplied 2 with numerator and denominator to write in this format that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 2 pi capital r into rho so this is the value of electric field intensity at any point on the surface of the solid sphere now we are going to go for if the point will be inside the solid sphere so if the point p if the point p will be inside of the solid sphere which is uh, situated at a distance r i from the axis so for that we have to consider a gaussian surface which encloses this point p i so this is the gaussian surface right this is the gaussian surface <clears throat> so as here you can see as this entire volume of this cylinder is charged by positive positive charge so obviously electric field intensity will be coming out like this these are the electric lines of forces coming from the center itself so obviously this lines of forces will be passed through this gaussian surface no doubt now according to gauss law total electric flux passed through the 3d spherical surface here 3d spherical surface means 3d gaussian surface bar bar me he will round equal to uh, surface integration of ei dot ds here ei is nothing but electric field intensity electric field intensity of the um, electric field intensity of the <coughs> solids solid cylinder which is coming out from the uh, from the center these these lines are uh, these blue lines blue dotted lines are ei okay ei that means electric field intensity <coughs> coming out from the solid cylinder and ds here ds is nothing but your any surface element on the surface of this gaussian surface this is your gaussian surface no on this gaussian surface here you can see uh, if i am going to consider here this is the ds this is the ds so this ds direction will be along this direction exactly parallel with ei that means ei and ds having the angle both both the angle will be uh, zero degree because both are both are parallel or along the same direction so if it is so the dot product will be ei ds cos zero degree will be one <clears throat> but most important thing is your how much charge enclosed by this gaussian surface that is most important so here you can see this much gaussian surface is enclosed this much volume of the solid solid cylinder already we have per unit volume charge present in this solid cylinder is your row so per unit volume that means in one volume you can say in one volume one volume charge is a row so in this much volume charge will be how much this much volume into row okay so we have to find out the volume of this much portion of this solid cylinder that means which is enclosed by this gaussian surface this gaussian surface so here you can see that this gaussian surface gaussian surface radius is ri so first of all what will the volume of this gaussian surface that means how much volume can be enclosed by this gaussian surface that is your pi r square into l l is the thickness or height of this cylinder okay so pi r square l is the volume enclosed by this gaussian surface by this gaussian surface so charge enclosed by this gaussian surface will be how much this much volume into unit volume how much charge is your rho so rho into 
rho into pi r i square into l is the charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface. So this q enclosed we found this much. So e i dot d s as we discussed that e i dot d s d s means e i d s cos 0 degree that is your cos 0 is 1. So e i is the constant taken outside surface integration of d s. This is the surface integration of d s means total surface area of this Gaussian surface. So what will the value radius of this Gaussian surface is r i total surface area of this Gaussian surface will be 2 pi r i into l okay so this value will be how much 2 pi r i into l so e i 2 pi r i into l equal to this much charge which is enclosed by the Gaussian surface by epsilon 0. So that implies e i will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 pi r i into rho okay so here also i uh, multiplied 2 in, with the numer numerator and denominator 2 to write this type of expression in this form i just uh, multiplied 2 with the denominator and and a numerator okay finally we found ei that means electric field intensity at any point inside the <coughs> inside the uh, solid cylinder infinitely long uniform solid cylinder which is charged uniformly will be how much this one 2 pi r i into rho so here you can see if r i will be equal to 0 then e i also will be 0 okay so now we are going to go for the representation of graphical representation of the variation of electric field intensity with a distance for this case here you can see clearly the three Gaussian surfaces. This one is your one Gaussian surface for the point outside. This one red one is your point on the surface. This yellow one point or inside the inside the solid cylinder. So three Gaussian surfaces uh, here I represented and we found three expressions that is electric field intensity for outside point on the surface point inside the point okay and we found that for this case on the surface all are constant here here you can see that 1 by 4 pi epsilon zero constant 2 pi r is also constant and rho that is the volume charge density for this case is constant so es is constant that means electric field intensity on the surface is fully constant then the value will be this one okay this much so this much value along y axis that means along y axis we consider electric field intensity along x axis variation of distance from the uh, from the surface of the cylinder or from the center of the cylinder you can say so this much value this much value here you can see this much value is represents the electric field intensity on the surface okay here and here also this is the surface this is the surface okay then we are going to go for uh, outside outside means here you can see this is the constant value 2 pi r square rho also constant and this e o is inverse proportional to r o that means e o inverse proportional to r o e o is going to be decreased as distance from the surface is going to increase so this is the decrease of electric field intensity as we are going to move away from the surface of the cylinder okay and this side is also same if if we are going to move away from the surface of the cylinder the electric field intensity gradually decreases and on the surface it is constant here you can see inside the surface sorry inside the cylinder at ri if we are going to consider r i equal to 0 that means at the center this value is 0 if r i equal to r this expression will be same with this expression that means from center it is gradually increases and reaches at the maximum this side also the same okay that means from the center to the surface of the cylinder <coughs> the electric field intensity gradually increases and reaches at the maximum value like this. 
so this is the graphical representation of variation of electric field intensity outside on the surface inside of a charged infinitely long uniform solid cylinder thank you so much for watching this video thank you